Cosa Nation, San Monan, and welcome back to Football Trends. Now, in this video, I have two stories and one extra. That extra one is about Coach Pitom Samani, but let's leave it for later. For now, I just want to ask you a question, Ambogi Lepakaya. Why are you guys not liking my videos? Some of you are liking, but most of you are not liking my videos. What's going on? What's the reason? Is there any reason behind uh, not liking my videos? Because I can have 10 views in one minute and only to find out that two people have only liked the video. Sometimes I get like... Uh, 5,000 people who have watched the video, but only 200 or 300 have liked the video. What's happening with the rest of you guys? Please, guys, please make sure to like uh, those videos. It really helps. It really helps a lot. Uh, it pushes the video to reach more audiences. And obviously, it's growing. It's growing the channel also. Uh, this is your support. This is you guys showing your support to me. Uti. You appreciate the little work that I do for you. And also, Mangabe, uh, you're new here in Bugeli. I don't know what you're waiting for subscribe click that subscribe button and click a bell notification also so that next time when i post a new video you are here to watch it now guys let's start with a uh, emotion ethical he's not happy clearly he's not happy with how case chiefs is treating or how they have treated it to be honest guys there's a whole article about this but i've extracted this small onion piece so that i give you some of the updates for the full um, thing for us to go through over the whole newspaper thing i think we're gonna have to go live for it and schedule a date so that we know that we can um go through it and everything season j wait for wait with what is he saying in terms of it because he says he's not just a legend there's something more to it so for us to get there we need to set up a date cb live guys um when we live, then we can go over everything. And then Nan in Zoom in comment section, we're gonna be talking. We're gonna be talking about everything that he said about Itumelon Kune. But for now, let me just give you this piece. So as on Shilom Bugeli from the beginning of the video, that uh Omoshin Etogal is not happy of how uh the club treated Itumelon Kune when he was uh going through some rough times. And Master Tukbega Mbugeli, Uitemilan Kune is one of the longest serving players at Konala Payane Naturena with almost two decades, two decades at Konala Pitlapine. That's like, I don't know, I think almost two years if I'm not mistaken because a decade is a period of 10 years. So it's almost two years at Kona and recently uh, he's not been getting any game time. And speaking to Rob from ITSKI Times, uh, Omashin did say something about Dumelon Kune at uh, that time when he was suspended for disciplinary reasons. Uh, he believes Zuguti uh, Ikeza Chiefs should have treated him better because of his status at Amakosi, saying Zuguti management they should have protected him by keeping certain information in house instead of putting him uh, on ice said wait wait before i tell you i want to like a video please like the video if you have made it this far that means you're enjoying the content so please like the video well okay this is what he said it was said for me to see you don't treat a player in that capacity like that in his most difficult times he needs to have something to hold on to and I don't see that by case achieves. I mean, I can only say that now from the outside, I'm not involved. I don't want to trigger negativity, but it could have helped him. It was a couple of years ago, the same story, and I've made it publicly. I remember that when I said publicly out, they should know there is only one Ito. There's no second Ito, and there will never be a second Ito coming up in the next 50 years. So, for case achieves at the so, for Kaiser Chiefs, at that time, if I was in charge, I do always try to protect my players and a couple of things don't get out. You don't need to put certain things out in the public. You don't need to do that. I mean, do you think that Jabopule was easy? Do you think that Dr. Kumalo was easy? Do you think Tabomoki was easy? Do you think that Atazwane and Cyril Nzama were easy? But they are unbelievable artists. Unbelievable. Gushainage Omoshin Etikale. So, as you can hear for yourselves in Bogeli, uh, our coach is not happy with how they treated Uitumilan Kune. Now, moving on, a former KZHS player has weighed in on whether Amakosi they should keep a uh, coach Kevin Johnson or they should look for another coach when the season comes to an end. 
Now, we all know Guti coach Kevin Johnson took over as interim coach uh, from Omele Fenteki because of uh, the poor results La Vega Sneakers Awana. And now, Johnson clearly is still winning. He is driving, but still, uh, I'm a result. They are not improving. And obviously, uh, Chiefs, they need to find a replacement for a nigga who Kevin Johnson come end of the season. And it's now the ninth season without lifting any trophies. And Okombuluguti performance at Johnson, he has led from uh, he elimination in the Bank Cup, Sisakala, first round. And then MTN 18, Slulegi Luibamba. There's a lot, there's a lot of cups, Slulegi Luibamba. But uh, come end of the season, uh, we need a new coach. But Omokete, guys, Omokete Toteti, who's a former KZF defender, says no. If the management is comfortable with the coach Kevin Johnson, then I don't think they should change him. Uh, he should remain as the permanent head coach by saying, to be honest, if management is comfortable with coach Kevin Johnson, I think they can keep him to maintain continuity because he started in the middle of the season. Keeping him may give him time to establish his own team and maybe results may come. So if the management is feeling comfortable with him and Coach Johnson is willing to stay and make it work moving forward. So guys, what do you say about this? Uh, do you think a uh, coach should remain uh, as the permanent head coach for EK Shifts or we need to find a new coach? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And Okumbo Lembogeli, keep in mind that KZ Shifts management is full of surprises. We might find a uh, coach Kevin Johnson being signed as a permanent head coach because already this figure will April next month is May. Uh, there has been nothing said about uh, a new coach, so definitely uh, chances are very high. Chances are very high now. Last but not least, Mbugeli, I haven't forgotten. Pito Musimane wants Petrice Motipe to testify in court now. To make things simple, guys, for you, uh, Sundowns, which is uh, Itlap Yakege or Petrice Motipe, is currently suing uh, or Pitom Simani, Nomfazwake, which is also uh, his agent for uh, Imali, which uh, they at least are believing which Bona they should get but my 8 million rent. So, Master Tupega, uh, um, Simani left the club uh, before he contracted Yake, his Opela, uh, in 2020, around 2020, I think. And Dapo, Lapo, Ilabam Shire Corner because uh, Upume in a contract. And I think I don't know what really happened, but I think there was a fight. So, definitely, this is why uh, Isan Downs want him to testify. No, this is why Sundowns want him to pay that money. And Upitom Simane and I says, No, if you are saying this, then Nkala Uze ne proof. Come and testify. Uze ne proof you go to Vele. We owe you 8 million rands. Well, I believe we would say this is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please, unga kotlonji, ug like a video. I am angabe umushalana. Unga kotlonji, nuk subscribe. And u turn on ipe notification. Besege uyazi ye. Next time when I post something new, you will be the first to know. I believe this is it. Stay tuned and stay updated.